Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at yet another advanced multimodal vision language model or VLM that has been specifically designed and fine-tuned with a new data set named Visual Web Instruct. And that is something unique to this model. If you look at the pipeline of this model, this is actually quite interesting. The thing is that earlier VLM demonstrated significant advances in perception tasks, their reasoning capabilities have lagged due to limited availability of high quality multimodal reasoning dataset. To address this gap, these creators have introduced Visual Web Instruct, which is a large scale diverse multimodal dataset explicitly designed to enhance reasoning performance. So you can see that this is a vision model with reasoning and we are going to install it locally and we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. Now I have just created a virtual environment with Coda. And then I am going to install the prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Vision and some other tidbits. And next up we need to install this Lava Next from the source. And this is going to take a bit of a time and meanwhile let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let me download the model. And the model is being downloaded. So you can see it has downloaded tokenizer and there are four shards of the model. So let's wait for them to get downloaded. And there you go. The model is loaded onto a GPU after the download. And now let's do the inference. For the inference part, all I'm doing I'm just getting an image from this URL and this is the image which we are going to check out. And the prompt which we are asking it is that in the picture shown, prove that this and this are similar. Please conclude your answer as answer in this. So we have given it a template. We are creating that chat template. We are encoding it with a tokenizer and then model is generating the output. We are decoding it back with some of the hyperparameters after the model has generated it and we are printing the response. So let's run it. And there you go, the model has given the response. So if you look at it, it's a proper chain of thought response where model is going step by step that identify common angle and then do this, do this and there's a conclusion and the answer is uh, short but correct. So I believe quite a good model I would say Next up, I'm going to give it this MCQ or multiple choice question, which is a math question. So we are also checking those here. And then I'm just asking it to select the correct answer for the question. So let's run it. And let me also show you the VRAM consumption. So this is my Jupyter Notebook log. Let's go here and run this. So it is consuming just under 18 gig of VRAM. Not bad actually. Okay, so let's see. I think it has come back. Let's go here, check out the response. There you go. So it says uh, the arithmetic mean looks good. So I'll just display it here too. So this is, it has got the question right. So CR is quite good and answer is here. Yep, spot on, very correct answer. And the reasoning is also, I would say to the mark. Now in the next example, I'm just giving it this image of a table. I want to check how it performs with tabular data. It has three columns and there are a few dollar figures and then few comments. And in the prompt, I am asking it which journal has largest circulation. So I already have run it. So if I just scroll down, there you go. So it has done some of the reasonings where it is comparing the circulations figures directly. 
and then these are the circulation figures and it says clearly that the largest circulation is this and then it has given us the correct answer which is us pharmacist which is spot on so at this point let's also talk a bit more about uh, this pipeline because this is something unique to this model the whole visual web instruct set which i mentioned earlier earlier has been produced using a unique methodology so it begins with carefully selected 30000 seed images then it utilizes google image search and crawl web pages containing visually related images this approach leads to the collection of html text and images from over 700000 unique websites and then it extracts filters and synthesizes content to form a high quality multimodal data set capturing diverse topics across various disciplines including mathematics physics finance chemistry plus the data set ultimately contains around 900000 question answer pairs which comprise of 40% visual and 60% text only and there is a lot of benchmarking information which they have shared and i will drop the link to this model card in video's description so that you can check out now let's quickly uh, check its multimodality or multilinguality now in the next example i'm just giving it this paragraph which includes text from different languages such as you can see there is english of course there is chinese and then there is hindi there is arabic and there is some russian and few of the european languages so and i'm just asking it to extract the text from this image and i'm not following their prompt so let's run it from here and model took its sweet time and i believe it has given us a response there you go so let's compare so it says so a bit of a reasoning that what it needs to do and then there is this answer and the answer let me sorry display the image again so if we compare it i think this hanzi script looks good arabic i'm i think arabic looks also okay to me what do you think and hindi looks hindi is also okay but if you are that language speaker please also confirm i think for me i think the ocr is pretty good with it but in my opinion if you're looking to do any reasoning with math and coding ones i think this is primarily geared towards that domain and performs quite well as we just saw in this example for me i think i'm very impressed by the way they have created that data set which i showed you earlier so breathe through it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching